Hello everyone, this is Blue Ball 993 and today we're going to give you your console corner power rankings. Uh, it's the end of week two PCL open bracket qualifiers. So next up is week three's qualifiers, but that is only uh, available to the top eight teams in each region on both consoles uh, who will be split into two groups and then the top two teams from each group will make it into the league therefore there'll be four teams on each console in each region so eight teams on each console total across EU and NA uh, so let's just dive right into the power rankings uh, starting off on PS4 we have number one elevate uh, in, from the NA region. Now, they were number two last week. Uh, they've moved up to number one. Uh, I know Shu and GR Crazy have swapped roles, so GR Crazy is now back on damage. Shu is back on support, and Shu only died three times uh, the entire tournament, so they protected him as their support fairly well. He positioned himself very well. Um, and they just had a strong showing, and I believe that they're the best team on PS4 as of right now. Uh, right behind them, moving up as well from the number four spot to the number two spot this week is Flashpoint in the EU region. They went up against the same team they faced in week one's finals, YCTG. Uh, this time they came out on top 4-0, 4-0, 2-0 series. Um, so that was really, really, uh, you know, dominant of them to come back and just uh, undo what happened to them the week before uh, at number three is fy midnight oligarchs now i believe the fy midnight oligarchs are stronger than the na team that lost in the finals this week uh, for the simple reason that they have to go against flashpoint two semifinals uh in a row uh you know week one they go up against flashpoint in the semis and they and it's a best of one series. And then in week two, they again have to go up against Flashpoint in a best of one semifinal. So I believe that, you know, they're a better team, uh, but they just don't get the time to shine in the finals because they uh, unfortunately get that bad bad luck bracket where they end up facing Flashpoint uh, in the semifinals each time. So I believe that they're a top team as well. They moved up uh, from the number five position to number three this week. Uh, up next, a new team on the power rankings board this week is Warm Up uh, from the NA. They made it past Oni Channers. They made it past uh, some other teams as well, and they got all the way to the finals to face Elevate. Now, you know, I'm giving them their props. They are a good team, uh, but they're a newer Newly formed roster, a uh, couple raw potential players on that team being led by the veteran player Garcia. Uh, he's been in this position before. He knows what to do. He knows how to do it. Um, so he can lead that roster uh, pretty far into the tournament. Uh, the reason why they're ranked so low um, initially is because, you know, they went up against Elevate, got uh, dominated, but they beat Oni Channers, which on paper looks really good considering Oni Channers beat Elevate in week one. But uh, they just added Swiper the One who's moved to the United States to play in NA. So there's some chemistry and uh, you know not much time to prepare and practice with that. As well as he's, his internet, um, which was confirmed with a, screen sh uh, a picture on Twitter, was 286 kilobytes per second running off of a mobile hotspot. Um, so, you know, there was some connection problems, uh, some chemistry problems, but shout out to warm up. Uh, they made it at number four this week at number five is YCTG. They made it to the finals, but I believe FY midnight oligarchs and warm up are stronger teams than them right now. Um, you know, we talked about this on console corner. Are they going to play with a play with the two subs that they beat Flashpoint in the finals with? Well, they didn't. They brought back their two main roster guys, um, and unfortunately, they didn't have as much success. So they're at number five this week. At number six is Thomas and Friends, new team on the power rankings board this week. Uh, Thomas and Friends, you know, unfortunately, they had a uh, – mishap with connection problems in week one so they were out in the first round um, whether they scored five or ten points that week uh, we'll we'll see here soon um, but 
they they made a deep run this week all the way to the semifinals um, and then making it to the third place match and winning it. Uh, so shout out to Thomas and friends. Big, big ups to them. Um, they needed a deep run this week and they got exactly that out of themselves. Uh, at number seven is Paladin's Misfit. Uh, you know, this is a new roster. Some of these, um, I, I've never seen these guys in my casual play or my competitive play. So um, shout out to these guys, newly formed roster, um, some rookies in the scene. So give them some big uh, um, props for making it into the power rankings and making it into the top four uh, this week in NA. At number eight is 110% EU. This team has been around for a few months now. Uh, so they have some experience. They just need to, you know, get better with their strategies. I feel like they have chemistry together. Uh, they make top four for the PS4 EU side of things this week. So hopefully they can uh, work on some things and, and show up big when it matters for them. All right, moving on to Xbox. Number one team, uh, which was the number one team last week, Vexed Gaming. I feel like they're the strongest Xbox team. Uh, you know, they've gone through many teams to get to the finals both weeks, and they won the finals both weeks 2 0 each time. So I feel like they're a dominant squad. Only team in the uh, PCL qualifiers to have that perfect score of 200. So shout out to them for not losing a game. At number two is Onslaught. They stepped up, came back from fourth last week. Um, so they made it all the way to the finals this week, and they took care of business, uh, asserting themselves back on top where they know they belong and where they have been for so long. At number three is OTP. I feel that OTP made it to the finals with their tanks um, carrying them there. Uh, but I also want to give some shout-out to their damages and their healer. Great players, um, but that tank duo leading them, I feel that they're stronger than some of the NA teams right now. Uh, you know, they had to go through my dad cuts my hair. They had to go through some some other tough competition. So shout out to OTP. At number four is the Xbox team. Uh, so this team has G-Pan, Velocity, um, Too Damn Sneaky, and Sort of Avalon, and Too Damn Savage, um, and OCFB. So I feel like they have a strong roster. A couple guys that have been on a couple teams here in the PCS uh, before. So, you know, they have some experience. They they know what they're doing going into drafts, going into the game. So uh, they made it all the way to the finals this week. So big ups to them for that. Um, and, you know, we hope they continue success. They were seventh in the power rankings last week. They're fourth today. Um, at number five, again, for the second week in a row is Kirsty's Hands. I feel that Kirsty's Hands uh, made very very good progress in week one um and they continued that progress in week two uh, but i just don't feel as if they are better than the teams above them right now uh maybe if they place higher or make it to the uh, finals in this upcoming week will it'll be interesting to see if they can make it into the league uh vampire lord 64 is at number six uh they you know OG Comedy apparently spilled G Fuel on his router, so no internet for him. Uh, Kanichi apparently needed a sub because he had to do something. So, you know, playing with one or two subs uh, come game day is very, very difficult, especially when you need to get them last minute. So, um, you know, we hope they have their full roster going into week three, but until then, they're at number six. They, they were knocked out pretty early in the tournament as well, so... Uh, they move down in the power rankings. My dad cuts my hair in the EU region. Also goes down in the power rankings from number three to number seven. Uh, you know they lost Swiper, who moved to NA within the week, um, so they had to pick someone else up. Uh, they lost in the semifinals to OTP, so I feel like they need to regroup and re-strategize without Swiper, the one, and 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 start to try and move forward without him um, and create some new comps and new strats. And then we have Bulldog Esports, who's new on the uh, power rankings for this week. And Bulldog Esports, uh, I believe they picked up Flux. I, I, I believe they did. Um, so, you know, they have a strong, strong lineup now, even stronger. Um, so they move into the power rankings for the first time here in week two at the number eight spot. Uh, they made it to the semifinals, and I'll be interested to see, you know, how far they can go next week in week three. All right, guys, that's it for the power rankings. If you have any questions or comments or, you know, if you think you know 
why a team is where they are or why they should be higher or lower, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, Console Corner is live every Thursday. You can hit me up on Twitter at any time at BlueBall993. That's B-L-U-B-A-L-L-1993. Don't forget to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash blueball. And keep grinding.